Hong Kong Polytechnic University now looks something more like a fortress. Hundreds of students have hunkered down, laying bricks to obstruct police vehicles they are sure will eventually arrive, and setting up multiple levels of security checkpoints. Inside, students arm themselves with whatever they can, including arrows, bricks, and Molotov cocktails. Hong Kong has seen about five months of protests, but what you see behind me is actually pretty new. Students barricading themselves in at universities, preparing for long confrontations with the police. It's the start of what could be a new phase in the anti-government protests. Students don't want their faces on camera, but are eager to defend their aggressive tactics. We're here to tell you, we know exactly what we are doing here. Uh, despite the fact that this, you know, the barricades or the walls, this, this equipment is just for our own protection. You have seen the police brutality in Hong Kong. How can you tolerate that? This is going on in at least five Hong Kong campuses. Many schools canceled class for the semester. At the Chinese University of Hong Kong, police moved in earlier this week, prompting a night of clashes that looked more like battles for territory. Police later accused the students of turning the campuses into weapons factories. This between us and the police is unbalanced. You can see that. We just use the things we have, just only some bottles or some plastic. But the police has the gun and had the beer gas. So the, the violence between we and the police is totally unbalanced. In the downtime, the students test their weapons, which don't even always work. A light moment that masks the gravity of what they're doing. All the protesters were scared because maybe we will die. But we think if we don't stand up, stand up this day, all the freedom in Hong Kong will lose. So it is uh, no way to get back for us. Student protesters who know they'll probably lose, but who are prepared to fight anyway. Bill Gallo, VOA News, Hong Kong.